There once was a fellow named Nick who went to the library to read a book. and discovered it had been stolen by a crook. He decided to track down the thief, with whom apparently he had some beef. He enters the next room and finds a man sitting there. Nick tells the man he is looking for a book. The man hears this and has a fit of envy, he tells Nick that he wishes he had a book like that. The man has an evil look on his face. He starts walking towards Nick at a brisk pace. Nick leaves the room in a hurry before he feels the man's cold fury. He walked down the hall not knowing where the book was, so he checked each classroom to see who took it. The first room he entered, a woman was sitting. Next to her was a mountain of food she had clearly been hitting. Nick asked the woman about the book. All the woman did was talk about food she wanted to cook. She didn't care about Nick's mission, and she continued eating without his permission. Nick left the room and went down the hall after seeing the woman who looked like a bowling ball. He entered the room across the hallway. He saw a woman who was bright and gay. Nick asked about the book. The woman gave him a look. She approached him slowly because she feels a little lonely. She says she has a great desire for friends. She wants some before her life ends. Nick feels some sympathy, although he still feels empty. He leaves the room and continues on. He is determined to find the book before dawn. Nick knows he needs to speed it up before someone throws the book away and it ends up in the dump. The next room he searches, he finds a woman lying on the floor. She lacks the ability to even walk through the door. The woman wants to find the book too, she just can't make herself move. In the next room, he sees a man sitting in a chair, and he looks about as vicious as a bear. Nick approaches him, and the man snarls at him. He unleashes his inner anger. Nick feels like he is in grave danger. He leaves the room quickly. He knows the quest for the book is tricky. Nick is very confused about the strange people in each room. He moves to the next room and searches it. He finds a man sitting in a chair. He has a head of dark brown hair. When he hears about the book, the man says he sold it as he shakes around his wad of money. Nick is not happy about this. The man says all he cares about is money. Nick thinks about the greedy man and how he wants to hit him with a frying pan. He goes on to the next room. He sees a woman standing on a desk looking very proud. The woman says she must find the book before anyone else. She says she is better and more deserving than Nick. The thought of not getting the book makes her sick. She has a great amount of pride and feels like everyone else should be swept away during high tide. Nick tells her to come back down to earth from the notion of her own prophetic birth. Nick reaches the final room in the building. He walks in and sees an iPad on the table. It appears to have an iBook on the screen. He sees the words Holy Spirit Handbook on the label. Nick approaches the handbook in hesitation. He holds it up in celebration. Nick looks at the book. He puts it back on the table. And that concludes this fable.